What's up guys, my name is Wilson, also known as Design by Will. And in today's video, we're just gonna be breaking down my new cover art pack. It's basically a texture pack, a black textures pack. And I'm gonna be showing you how I utilize it in my covers for clients and personal projects and how to give depth and feel into your cover art. Because when it's really clear HD, I know some people like that, but it looks kinda fake, if you know what I mean. And when you add a little bit of film grain or a little bit of rip or a tear in the back, it really brings emotion into the cover. And that's why I use textures in most of the work that I'm doing now and probably in the future, I'm probably still gonna be using textures. Beautiful. We got this um, Papa Hana Mud Baby concept cover that I did here. Um, and firstly, when you look at my screen, it, it does look fake. Like if you zoom in, it's very clear HD, especially with these shadows. You can see like the bottom of his pant here and the actual shadow that I drew in manually. It looks off. And then that's what we try to hide when we add textures and adjustment layers. We try to hide those little imperfections and make them blend into the cover as well as we can. And that's what I'm gonna be doing here. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do, basically how I do it. Firstly, I always use a color adjustment. Um, this color adjustment is the Fuji Eterna 250D Fuji 35010 by Adobe. Everyone should have this. It's the stocks. I've never, actually, that's a lie. I do install um, LUTs, but I've never installed a LUT um, previous to this before I started using uh, textures. And I love LUTs because they, they're an easier way of the smart filters that everyone uses. Instead of adjusting it by themselves, it's already there. You just put it on and turn it to multiply. So that's what I did here. I added the adjustment layer, um, put it to multiply, and kept the opacity at 100%. It just darkened all the colors, made the browns look more black, made his shadow hide a little bit, if you know what I mean. That's why I was trying to blend. See, it's already blended the shadow, but we want that to blend more. We want people to look at it and be like, wow, that's a dope photo he took, even though that's not the natural environment he was in. Firstly, we're gonna go down, open the textures pack. And my favorite texture personally has to be, I believe, yep, it's number 22. Beautiful. I'm gonna add that in there. Lovely. Once I add that in there, I'm just gonna change the blend mode to screen. And you can still see some of the imperfections but now you can see the texture you know what i mean see the texture has completely blended in that shadow to the bottom of his pan and that's what we wanted originally but we're not done here we're not done here we want to add a little bit more fill and we're just going to play with it um i got a bunch of textures here let's add number four beautiful it's like this faded wash vintage look um and you can always play with it my go-to's are overlay, screen, multiply, and color dodge, depending on the fill that I'm going for. And if you put it on light, and you can already see this looks pretty dope already. You can see it brings out the red, it makes it look more, more grunge, more grunge look. It brings fill to the cover. When you look at this cover, now you know, oh, there's a, there's a story behind this cover, but when you looked at it before, it was just a plain, HD cover, it just looked like a photo, like an everyday photo, but that's not what you want. You want to capture the feeling of the artist's song in the cover art, and then that's what we're doing, basically. Beautiful. So that's number four. We're going to keep that 22 texture on there, because that's going to be the base texture. I was just going to play with a bunch of them. Um, I got this orange texture here. This one that was really experimental. It has a, this pavement, pavement rips and pavement um, just blemishes inside of it with this uh, gradient that I put in the middle. Beautiful. Let's just enlarge that. Make the gradient the whole cover. Like so. And then just play with the opacities. Like this looks dope. Like I was saying, multiply, lighting, screen, and color dodge. Those are my go-to. Like if you look at this, this is this just adds a whole new feel to the cover. Like it focuses on him, it's centering him, and it has that red. I feel like red is my go-to color no matter what. 
because red goes with everything, I guess. And that's why I love using red so much. Beautiful. That's number 10. We can go into like number, texture 25 R. I mean, this one, I wanted to add that R because it's, it's like a, it's a hit or miss. This one's a very hit or miss. It, it will work better with lighter covers. Not so much the darker ones. That's why I put the R in there. And if we put on light and if you see what I mean, it like, it makes everything more washed out and faded. Like that vintage look that you guys seen in my previous video about making the pot smoke um, t-shirt graphic. Beautiful. Color dodge looks cool. Beautiful. It blows out all the colors, especially the whites, which I really like. It makes the sky stand out a little bit more. But it still has that element of character with that bleeding here. That's really dope. I'm gonna turn that off. Let's try. Let's try a different one. Texture 17. Very different. Very different. Has that horror theme to it. I'll use this for like a Halloween cover or some sort of like murder cover or something like that just because it suits the theme so well. Beautiful. See, color dodge. It works well with color dodge. But I really want those hands to stand out. That's, that's what I'm trying to emulate those hands. I want those hands to be there still. Mm, don't really like this one. This one's a kind of hit or miss with this cover art. Ooh, over there it looks okay sort of remove parts that I want him to be visible still like his face here like yeah I'll just do that basically so it highlights his face still like parts of his body but if you do that too much it'll, it'll look fake it looks like you cut him out that's that's what we're trying to hide not what we're trying to bring back so that one's a hit or miss when it comes to this cover just because there's so much elements and adding another element to so much elements isn't the best. Beautiful. Let's try texture 24. Texture 24 is similar to my favorite. Texture um, texture 22. That looks sick. That looks sick. See, I would I would actually use this. This one I haven't used so much. It's been in my vault, even though I created it like a few months ago, maybe two months ago. It's just been there because I, I don't know what to use it for, but now that I see it in in motion with Texture 22 at hand, it's pretty dope. And when I do use textures, I tend to use at least two to three with adjustment layers, like a, a curve. So make sure we get those shadows and we see those textures in those shadows, but yeah. Let's try, ooh, texture 19. More like those scratches, distorted film look. See, that looks pretty dope. That looks pretty. I've used this texture on about four clients, but I can't release them to you because NDAs and they're not out yet. So you'll see those recent, when they come out, you'll see them. Texture 18, a lot going on in texture 18. It's a, a concrete texture that I took a photo of, just distorted it to make it look like this. We're gonna send the blend mode. Ooh, you always gotta play with these ones. I feel like this would be a good background texture, not so much foreground. Just cause there's so much going on. That's why you have to like um, play and fill with it. If there's too much going on, that's when I use it as a background texture for text or something for like the back cover. I use the I use these heavy textures. But when it comes to the front, we've already added all these elements, all these colors, all these things. We don't want them to be hidden, and that's the main thing. We want them to stand out still. Beautiful. Texture ten is just amazing. I reckon this is this is peak. This is beautiful. I wonder if. Mm, let me change the colors. Add another layer. Ooh. I could have added a solid color there, but who cares? I like this teal. And put on a hue. See, that looks sick. 
that looks sick it's as simple as that textures are the best way and the most simple way to make your covers look more professional and that's what i personally think um, my texture pack is available now on my description and on my website it's live everywhere it's only 4.95 so if you guys want to go check that out and support me that'd be very very helpful thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video hopefully soon i'm trying to release videos every single two weeks maybe every single week but with my schedule at the moment i don't think that might happen but anyway peace